Good day, Grade 9. Today we're going to take a look at the first transaction for Grade 9, which is an entry in the CRJ for when we are selling things. So first of all, they tell us that Green Grocer uses a profit markup of 35%. So what I like to do is add cost of sales. I like to write in that cost of sales is 100%. Right, so that just will help me in the next transaction. And then it's 100 plus the 35. That means sales percentage is 135%. All right, so now we're going to read our transaction. So our transaction says on the 15th, we have cashed sales according to the cash register roll for 324 Rand. So our document number is going to be CRR. And it's going to be on the 15th. And remember, we are writing sales in the details. All right. So how much are we receiving? We are going to receive 324. The 324 is our selling price. So we are receiving that from the client. And that is in analysis. All right. Remember that if it's all the money for the day, we are going to underline that analysis of receipts. And then we are going to put that money into the bank. Now we need to ask ourselves, why did the business receive 324 rand? And that was because they sold something, so in sales. All right, now we need to determine the cost of sales. So what we like, or what I like to do is to say, all right, so it's 324, divide with the 135 over there, and multiply with the 100 to get the answer over there. So you make a square. So it's 3 to 4, divide with 135 times 100 to get the 240 rand. So the cost price for this transaction was 240 rand. When we go to our accounting equation, we are going to do the following. So it's still the same transaction. So remember, we received money. So therefore, it's easy to remember that banks are being debited. And when bank are debited, it means that our assets is increasing. So our assets is increasing with the 325. Why? Because this is the actual cash that we are receiving. So our cash is increasing with 324. Then why did we receive money? Because we had sales. So sales is an income account and sales is underneath our owner's equity. But we'll come to that later. Now what happened? I always say that the person that bought from us are now living with our trading stock. So now our trading stock is becoming less. It's decreasing because the person is living with that trading stock. So therefore trading stock, which is, which is an asset, are going to decrease and it's going to be account credited. Our trading stock is decreasing with the cost price. And remember, we got the cost price by saying 324 divide with 135 times 100 because the profit markup was 35% um, on the cost price. So our trading stock has decreased with 240 rand. So it's minus 240 and we are going to say that it is trading stock decreased. All right. Now we've created an account called cost of sales and cost of sales are going to be debited. It's an expense and when we have sales minus cost of sales, we get our profit amount. But if we now take a look at our assets equals owner's equity, we are going to see that if we add up the assets that we've written in, um, we are not getting the same amount as owner's equity because there's nothing yet in, in owner's equity. So if we minus these two from each other, we are going to get the effect in owner's equity as 84 Rand. And that 84 Rand that we just got there, that is our profit that we have earned. So it is our sales minus our cost of sales to get our profit earned. And that is what we write in owner's equity.